All right, so the real question is, is does this work? Yes, it does. Please watch this video to find out exactly how well it works. That is insane. Like this video and please subscribe to the channel. This, I do this stuff all the time. Guys, please subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. All right, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna test out to see if we could use a portable power inflator or tire inflator and see if you could use it on an, an actual real uh, all metal air compressor brad nailer. Now this is an 18 gauge brad nailer, uh, P, uh, 120 PSI. And I've actually tested this out and it works. So let's actually, I'm excited about this. This is absolute crazy. I will be using DeWalt brad nails. 18 gauge and also what you need to do for this to work you are going to need to get uh you don't need to get the husky kit but you need to get the uh the smaller sized connection i do not know what the name of this is i'm sorry you need to get the smaller size connection for the uh the compressor hose or connection that will fit on a regular tire uh inflator and so i actually have uh it comes in this kit uh the 15 piece kit or you can get it at home depot so it actually fits and it works. So let's test this out really quick and see how long this actually lasts. And the crazy thing is this actually holds the PSI. If you, infl if you use the inflator, it holds the PSI, which is absolutely insane. So I, we're just gonna do a couple of tests with this really quick and see how long this lasts. I'm excited about this. This is absolutely crazy. This is my owner P737D. It is the, the digital displayed Ryobi tire inflator. And this is the old school Porter Cable 18 gauge brad nailer. The model number for this is BN125A. And so, yeah, it actually, I can't believe that this actually works. Now, like I said, you need, uh, a, the connection is in this kit. And this kit, I think is like 11 bucks or $12, I think. And so, yeah, but it's very simple. Oh, it's a, it's a, uh, put the connector in, put that on. I don't, I, I doubt that that actually holds it in place. Let's actually put some more uh, brads in there. All right, let's put uh, some more. And let's we'll go to town. We could fit one more, I think. No, that's all right. We'll once we're out, we're out. Alrighty, got that connected. Let's get to work. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. All right, I got mine right here. All right, so we got this rig right here. We are gonna let this, uh, we're gonna let this inflate for a little bit. And like I said, it holds PSI. It holds the PSI. So let's see what this can do. And just to show you guys, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. There is the, the, the brads, that's absolutely insane. Now, to show you guys really quick, I wanna connect uh, a piece of wood to that. All right, so like I got this piece of wood right here. We're gonna have it like that. Let's see, it, it might actually have PSI in there, so let's see if it can do it without that running. Barely, you, need the, you do need this running. As you can see, it's, it's hanging by itself. All right, so let's uh, I put a little duct tape on there just to, to hold it in place a little bit more. All right, let's see what this can do. That's absolutely insane. That is absolutely, now let's break this. And there you go. It works. It seriously, it seriously works. That's insane. And just, just let, just keep on doing it. Let's see how long this will last for. Now, now, one thing I will say is this inflator is working a lot less harder right now than it would be to fill up a tire. 
So right now it's just running. So, all right, so let's see what this can do. You let it go up a little bit. Let it go up a little bit. That's insane. Oh, that one failed. I let it go up. Up two failed. Let it go up a little bit. I think this came undone. Alrighty, let's continue. Got a few more. Got a few more. That's gotta be done soon. Yep, that's it. That's the last one. Alrighty, so this is absolutely insane. All right, so out of an entire, out of an entire line, uh, entire section. All right, so out of an entire strip of brad nails, we had one, two, we had four fail. We have one right here. One right here, one right here, and one right there. We had four fail out of an entire strip, and three of those failed because the the duct tape came uh, undone, and the uh, the tire inflator was no longer attached to the brad nailer. That is absolutely insane. And as you can see, all sh get an angle to work. All shining, all shining. That's insane. Look at that. It's crazy. So this actually works. Alrighty. So if you are in a pickle and this is the rig you have, this works. That is absolutely insane. And so, yeah, so, uh, so I just wanted to do this video really quick just to see if this actually works and how well it works. And it actually does. I like that. That's absolutely insane. That is seriously insane. <laughs> And I think that's the last one. That is seriously, seriously insane. I, I'll do it. That is insane. So, so yeah, so please, so I just wanted to do this video really quick and just in case if you're, uh, to show you that if you're an absolute pickle, pick, uh, pick up a tire inflator and this, you know, this is, it's a good portable little compressor and it works with brad nails. Seriously, get the Ryobi, any brand. This is absolutely insane. I, but I guarantee you from this video that the Ryobi one does work. That's absolutely insane, you guys. That's, I'm sorry for like, dude, I, I, I'm a tool geek and that's, that's absolutely insane. So please like this video and please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time